Good morning, Kevin here. Yes, I'm squinting. The sun is up there. Where am I today? Well, I am in Binstead. Binstead in Hampshire. Let me get a county right for a start off. Steve, Cynthia, they're with me today. This is our first Kevin's Rambles YouTube walk. Is that right? 2023. 2023. Yeah. Do you remember I said to you once before on a video, Google Maps, he knows it all. <laughs> knows it all. He does really. Amazing. Um, so we're in Binstead. We're going to do a walk around here, countryside. Yep. Then a walk around the village, and then we're going to visit the church. And then, what's happening after that? Bottle of wine and three glasses. Bottle of wine and three glasses. Oh, it <laughs> sounds perfect to me. So this is a bank holiday Monday, um, after the New Year, because New Year's Day was yesterday. Yep. Which was a Sunday. So we're going to head west. 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 Yep. Go, go west. west. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. That's the first outtake for this year. So shall we get started? Yep. Yeah, let's yep. go. We're just now into this lovely countryside. We've actually just walked through the churchyard, which is back behind us. And we're going to do a visit on that on another day because actually the um, the churchyard is closed, although we did very naughtily walk through it to pick up the footpath, but the scaffold that's there around the tower has been made unsafe because of the winds that we've had recently. So you can't do anything there at all. So we've just come straight away through, out of the way of the church and the churchyard and the scaffold, out into this lovely countryside. There we go. So, there in the distance, I don't know if anybody can see it, right up there in the distance is the church tower. We've just come down this path here, and we've now got to go down these always oh, steps. Oh, and it is very slippery underfoot. Here we go, down the steps. I've managed to negotiate those. As does Steve and Cynthia. We're down into this little bit of a woodland now, which is rather nice. A copse. Did you say, Steve? A copse. It's a copse. Sorry, 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 in, the in the description. Steve's got a description. I've got a prescription, but Steve's <laughs> got a description. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. He says, <laughs> he says I'm all right. Yeah, yep, yeah, I'm over. Phew. But Steve, as usual, has done his fantastic bit of research. Got everything printed out just in case we need anything. And then we come down to this stream, and it's the bridge over the river stream. Yeah, lovely little bubbling brook, do they call it? Bubbling brook? Babbling. Babbling brook. Well, there's bubbles there. <coughs> bubbles in the babbling brook. Last three, good grief. She said to Steph. <laughs> <laughs> what did she say to Steph? They're not too early. Definitely said the captains aren't early. Not I very big so. though, are they? Well, I would say they're very early myself, but captains. Well, we've just come down through this bit here. There's a little doggy up there, bundle of fun he is. We're just crossing this past this pond here now. No. Look at that, lovely. No ducks. Yeah, it is a bit, isn't it? Yeah, a bit mucky. Very, very wet underfoot. I can't understand that, can you? <laughs> why, why it's so wet underfoot? It's so horrible. Gosh, my boots are going to get a bit sticky. Oh, and there's another big pond, and this, this, is this one big pond that goes all the way through? Ah. 
Yeah, but this this one's quite big. This is quite a big puff. Yeah, it is. No. Doesn't look as if there's any angling done here. There's no sort of post putty. Yeah, quite possibly. Yeah. Yep. Well, we've just come down through here. And as I mentioned just now, there's ponds over there, but we think the water is draining down from up here. And it's down, and it's just absolutely sodden underfoot. Um, and really, really muddy. So we've got to be very, very careful going down through here. Um, the local people, very sensibly, they walk along the top of the hill there. And along, that's where the lady went with the dog earlier on. And with local knowledge, of course, you realise that's the best way to go. But thank goodness we were able to get past this lot. Look at this lot here. Absolutely awful. So we dealt, oh gosh. We're back out into another field. Oh my gosh. Well, we've just come down to this. Oh God, look at this. Thankfully, we haven't got to go that way, but we have got to go up that way. And from what Steve has got in his notes, this is an ancient track, track yeah. ancient track. I don't know why. Because it's old. <laughs> um, but over here, we've got another pond. And this one has actually got a lot of wildfowl on there. And from this distance, I can't actually tell what they are, but it's certainly ducks on there. We've got pheasants that have just flown across the pond over there. And the ponds aren't big. They are really big ponds. This one, I would imagine, you can fish from. When does a pond become a lake? When it gets bigger. It could be a lake. Then. I wonder what the... Um... Well, that's I mean, at the end of the day, French and ponds, yeah. I would call lakes, they're huge. Oh, no, yeah, they are, yeah, yeah. They're as big as Shillingley Lake. Yes. So, what if it's to do with depth? Well, that's, that's a bit of research for Steve. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got a head up here, which I don't think anybody's looking forward to. As soon as you're shouting, tell me to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> like I said to just a minute ago, cormorants are about four times bigger than a coot. But here we go, we've got to go up this horrible, horrible track. <clears throat> yeah, I was going to say, I did see some steps in the distance. Then we go up onto the hangar. Oh! Up onto the hangar. Thankfully, thankfully, there's a little bit of a path to the side of this track. But obviously you get vehicles up and down here, that's what's churned it up so badly. But we are surrounded by oak trees, particularly hazel, lots of hazel. <coughs> now I do have to walk on the track, oops. Not very easy walking. And then we've got, got these steps here on the left hand side into a cons conservation area. <coughs> Oops. And then we've got the footpath sign going up. Why do they build such big steps? says the East Hampshire hangars form a line of hills with steep scarps that marks the eastern edge of Hampshire or Hampshire Downs and its boundary with Western World. Oh, oh, okay. I wonder if that joins the hangar near Petersfield steep. It does. It says it's, it's a, an area of rolling countryside east of Petersfield and this. 
Oh. Oh, and right, it, and okay. it, it runs from Farnham to Petersfield. Oh, right. Okay. So being on that yeah. part, that's yeah. where the um, poet stone is. And oh, yes. And it meets the South Downs as yeah. well. Yeah. They are. The name is derived from the hangers, a long, narrow remnants of ancient woodland clinging to steep, scarp slopes. Yeah, yeah, that's what we've just come up. Yeah. Ooh. Just above us, we've got a robin singing away in a tree up there. There he goes. Isn't that just a lovely sound? So this is where we've got to go. Let me just show you the views that we've got from the top of this hill. Beautiful, absolutely lovely. What a lovely day it is now. It's really, really nice and lovely and warm. So we've got to go up through here Ooh. footpath that way broken down style which is useful just there well, at least we're going to be onto some drier ground a very Italian wall look, it's all built with headers headers yeah and just in case anybody doesn't know what a header means Steve's going to explain it to you the, well, the header is, is the top part of the brick. That's it. So the brick runs in in that direction, yeah. and so the, that's the header. Yeah, that's it. Thanks, Steve. No. Back filled with concrete, by the looks of it, as well. Going past these houses here now. It's nice to get out of that wet ground, isn't it? Poor oh, Steve, both his boots leak. Isn't there? He said he should have put some on his Christmas, Father Christmas list, he should have put his boots on there with the hope that his wife or his children would send him a pair. Instead, I asked for a DNA test. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, we know where you come from, Steve. <laughs> Lovely parking area there with the, the tiered lawn of this house. That's, that's lovely. Yeah, and they've shaped the they've shaped the timbers as well. That's look just that really does look nice. So just back beyond right at the top of this hill here, way back beyond way back Cynthia. Um, we've now come down here or coming down here and it's described in an, as an ancient byway which doesn't surprise me because quite often with the old cart tracks and and where they used to drive the, the cattle or sheep or whatever it would be that the cart tracks and the ancient roads and tracks and paths would be set with these high banks um, either side not quite so high to our right but it certainly is to our left But we've got to be very careful because the leaves are actually covering up stones and bits of wood that you can easily turn your ankle on. So yeah, gently, gently going down here. Well, just in front of us, you can see that it's clearly been pollarded at some time. Um, but this is an ancient oak, just uh, outside the boundary of this house to our left. And this is perched right with the views across here. If anybody looks, oh dear. they've got three deers. Look, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Yeah, amazing. So we've seen two hares today. Exactly what they said on these instructions. Yep. And the deers. Yeah, it's amazing. It's brilliant. 
as we came down the farm track, we came up against this, or came to this, old farm. Rather lovely. It's built of stone with original timbers in it, but we did say we think the roof is asbestos, which isn't good. Well, we're walking up this sunken lane. Again, this might have been an old uh, cart track where the drovers came along back in the day. And this one has got high banks on either side as we wind our way up through here. But, you know, you go out to the woods and you get these deep tracks and that and it's where the drovers would have been using years and years ago for all sorts of reasons but driving cattle or smugglers of course would have used them as well to try and... well we've completed the first part of the visit to Binstead I said Bentley just now and Steve didn't even click what I'd said so we finished the walk very nice walk, weather was excellent. Very good. Mm. We thought we were going to get wet, but we didn't. Anyway, this will be Kevin and Cynthia and Steve saying bye-bye, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.